Welcome to the Quarry Port. I'm Sergeant Allie Byswinger. And I'm Sergeant Tyler Main. Last week, engineers and contractors showed off new equipment that could benefit the Corps during Expeditionary Energy Concepts, or E2C, at Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. We were able to join the Marines and learn and test the equipment. There were many types of gear, from batteries to fuel cells, but the one that specifically caught our attention was the all-terrain vehicle. The ATV boasts a full electric drivetrain with an onboard diesel generator to give it the same operational range as the Humvees we currently use. The ATVs were even able to maneuver in places that Humvees couldn't. To learn more about E2C and the all-terrain vehicle, click the link in the video description. For the first time ever, the Department of Defense officially ran the Warrior Games, hosted by the Marine Corps. The Games concluded earlier this week at Marine Corps Base, Quantico, Virginia. During the Games, over 200 wounded, ill, and injured veterans and service members competed in Paralympic-style sporting events against opposing branches, as well as a team from the British Armed Forces. Even though Team Army won this year's Chairman's Cup, Team Marines still kicked ass. You can find links for more information about the games and the adaptive sports program in the video description. Did you know that Sergeant Major Green actually awarded medalists from the Marine Corps team? Uh, yeah, he posted it to Twitter on Sunday. Where have you been? Twitter? What? That's right. Sergeant Major Green tweets now. You can follow him at 18th SMMC. Most of you have a long weekend for the 4th of July. Enjoy yourselves, but be safe. Go ahead and leave your safety brief comments below. Remember, you can catch up on everything else going on around the Corps by logging on to our official social media sites. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next payday. Right here on the Corps Report.